Andrew Bridgen, uh, the person who uh, was kicked out of the Conservative Party for comparing COVID vaccines to the Holocaust, has been taken in by Lawrence Fox's Reform Party. Or, sorry, Reclaim Party. It's all, it's all much of a much as is it Reform, Reclaim, Redact. Uh, reclaim Party. Now, I, I quite like Lawrence Fox. And I have a sneaky um, respect for Andrew Bridgen. Of course, with Andrew Bridgen joining Fox's party, I see no reason now for the banks to withhold um, a bank account from Mr Fox. He's now got a demonstrable party with a sitting MP in the House of Commons. So the bank should be queuing up to give him an account. However... The problem is that uh, Bridgen's statements aroused so much concern. Now, a number of Jewish uh, charities, a number of Jewish organisations condemned what he said, and people regularly in the comments section here on YouTube tell me that all he was doing was quoting a Jewish uh, doctor. He tweeted what a Jewish doctor first thought. And he simply retweeted, we retweeted that post. Now, it's not true, actually, as far as I can see. Bridgen's tweet was placed underneath a tweet by a Jewish doctor. He wasn't quoting that Jewish doctor. And despite so many people saying that Bridgen was quoting a Jewish doctor, nobody has actually, and nor has Bridgen, bothered to identify that Jewish doctor, which seems a, an extraordinary omission. Does he not know who this person was? Has he not been in touch with this person? Was he not, in fact, quoting a Jewish doctor? Was it indeed, uh, is, is this indeed an attempt to backtrack? My own suspicion is that this is all part of a conspiracy, uh, a conspiracy fueled um, obsession I think there's a lot of reason to have a debate about whether or not the vaccines were truly efficacious or indeed uh, have been dangerous. But the language uh, invoking the Holocaust is absolutely wrong. That's the problem. The debate is good. The language is wrong. And in the same way, I do nothing but salute Lawrence Fox and Bridgen for setting up their new party, Reclaim. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm very enthusiastic to see how that party develops. Anything that promotes debate is good. But promoting conspiracy theories without uh, revealing sources, without uh, uh, so, so, so it all becomes rumour and assertion rather than fact and uh, a clear citation, well... This is the stuff of, um, of, of cheap television. It's not even the stuff of Netflix. And Netflix, by the way, is doing some, some remarkable stuff. While, while I think the Cleopatra uh, broadcast is complete twaddle, um, and it really irritates me, there's, an, there's, an other, there's another um, program on Netflix about the Roman Empire, which is simply superb, with narration by Sean Bean, and superb um, performances by the uh, by the cast, um, tremendous vistas of ancient Rome, uh, wise words from great academics like David Levine in New York, and so on. And and I think, um, yeah, that's how we should be doing it. That's a great way of doing classical drama and of bringing the classics to life. And. Uh, I think anybody would be proud to be involved with that. But Bridgen is doing something different. He's not citing sources. He's not giving us facts. He's allowing his followers to draw conclusions from vagueness. Well, he's a sitting MP. Vagueness is not the stuff he should be peddling in. He should be peddling in fact. And if he peddles with fact, then actually he can make a significant contribution. I also notice 
that he's now prepared to sue Matt Hancock. Well, that will give us all a lot of pleasure.